One thing that always comes up when we show the sandbox is that there's a delay in it. Uh, so if I make changes to the surface, like digging a hole here, then it takes exactly one second for the sandbox to react to that. So if I make a very quick change, the change will only be applied after I'm done. But if I make a longer change, you notice how the sandbox is catching up while I'm moving my hand and it's just exactly always uh, one second behind. Um, it's a common misconception that the reason for this delay is sort of the slowness of the connect, which is sort of a joke. Um, but that's not the case. The connect is actually quite fast. Or that maybe the computer isn't fast enough to run this, which is also not the case. The computer can run this perfectly fine. The delay is there intentionally. It is there to reduce the pretty significant measurement noise we get from the Kinect um, so that the contour lines, as you can see here, are very nice and stable and don't move around. Uh, and also it is to filter out any kind of moving objects, like my hand. If I move my hand around, it doesn't affect the surface at all. Only if I keep my hand still for exactly one second, then will it, be, it will be recognized as part of the terrain, and then when I take it away, one second later, the terrain will update. So those are the two reasons, noise removal um, and, uh, and hand detection. And I just want to show you that uh, even in this delayed mode where there's always one second delay, if I add water by making this particular gesture, let me get the camera in there, you can see the water shows up more or less immediately because the hand detector uh, is also getting data from the Kinect, but it is bypassing the low-pass filter that is applied to any kind of changes in the terrain. So that is definitely real time. It's, I don't exactly know what the latency is, but it's definitely less than a second. Um, and then of course the water flow itself, as you can see, it updates uh, at a good rate of 30 frames a second. Uh, so there's also not too little frame rate in there. The reason why it's only 30, when the actual rendering time for each frame is maybe on the order of a few milliseconds, is that I'm only getting fresh data from the Kinect 30 times a second. So there's really not much point in updating the display more often than that. I would only be rendering the same exact data multiple times. It would just be essentially wasted effort. Um, and just to really show you what it would look like if I didn't do this filtering, uh, I'm just going to turn it off for a second and then show you. So let me see. There we go. So now this is the sandbox uh, with, uh, with filtering disabled. And you notice that now if I make a change, it gets picked up right away. Now the delay we are seeing is purely due to the Kinect's measurement delay, which is a couple dozen milliseconds. And then whatever delay comes from the projector, which I must admit I haven't measured yet, but it's still, you don't really notice it very much. It's pretty reactive. Um, same, of course, still holds if I make water. Uh, that's going to be exactly the same as before. What you do notice now is the trade-off. If I zoom in on these contour lines over here, you can see how they're jumping around because they are, a contour line is basically a high-pass filter, so they really are very sensitive to noise. And when there's measurement noise on the order of the connect, that, uh, on the order that we have in the connect, then it will become very, very noticeable. You also notice the other thing here is that the water surface is continuously agitated. That is because the terrain underneath it is just vibrating up and down, again due to noise, so it never comes to rest, which it does when I do apply the low-pass filter. And the last thing is that now that there's no delay anymore, um, the Kinect cannot filter out my hands or other things because to the camera they look exactly like sand. So as I move my hand over this, it immediately affects the surface, uh, which means that if there's water underneath, it's like creating a mountain underneath this water, which will then of course disturb it and have it splash everywhere, which works much more nicely on the other side. Now there is a benefit, I can now go and pick up water and move it with my hand and just toss it out over here, but that's a really minor gain for the major nuisance uh, that, that having this thing happening is. And that's really, it's quite a difficult problem to solve that. I haven't come up with a good way of doing it yet. But just to wrap it up, that's the reason why there's a delay in the sandbox. It is not based on computing power. It's not caused by the Kinect. Uh, well, it's indirectly caused by the Kinect because it has pretty significant measurement noise. All right, that's all.